Welcome back, everybody. Karen Doster from the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board is in the kitchen today. Good morning. How Good are morning. you? Good morning. Doing great. Good to see you. You too. It's <laughs> cold out. We yes, want that is. winter kind of comfort <laughs> food, you know, cabin fever type food, and nothing like a homemade chicken pot pie mm -hmm. on a day that you've got some extra time to, to do some cooking. So this one's fun, though, because it looks completely different from the normal pot pie, the ones that I'm used to. Mm -hmm. I see butternut squash. Butternut squash, uh, sort of a trendy green, which is, is that kale? kale. We're having kale in there. And cheese. And Wisconsin Havarti cheese. Mm. And if you're familiar with Havarti, it's a Danish-style cheese that melts really well. It really pairs well with all these ingredients, and it really adds to the chicken pot pie. So. Sounds delicious. And it actually also has a crust on there that uses a puff pastry, so Ooh. it's a little different too. This is an upscale yeah. pot pie, it is. kind of even company worthy. <laughs> so we started out with some butter. A couple of tablespoons of butter, and you're going to add to that about uh, half a cup of uh, onion, okay. diced, and some butternut squash, two cups of that. So, so you basically up. buy a, a butternut squash, right. peel it, mm -hmm. dice it up. Right. Uh huh. And we're going to saute that for about um, you know eight ten minutes is what it recommends. Okay. okay? So we can get that going. And, so um, you don't need to pre-cook the squash at all. That's it's correct. Gonna saute right, right in and here. then it will cook also in the oven okay. a little bit later. So okay. about ten minutes, you want to get it uh, nice and soft. Okay. Okay, and then actually, if, we, if you want to pretend we did do that, we can start adding the rest of the sauce. Sure, okay, sure, in a sure. Minutes. Salt and pepper do we put on this? Not, yet. Not quite yet. Not yet. Okay, 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 okay. All right, and also I can show this. Start showing this too. We're going to be preparing a puff pastry lattice. Uh, we're going to kind of weave a top onto oh, there, onto the, the pie. And this is a puff pastry, if you're not familiar mm -hmm. with that, that's uh, used a lot in desserts and that sort of thing. And we're going to be cutting this up into slices. So. You'll find that in the freezer mm -hmm. section of the grocery store, and it's near the frozen desserts. So it's near the frozen pies. Mm -hmm. Very easy to work with. Comes two to a pack. Pull it out of the freezer. The night before you're going to use it, let it thaw that's in right. the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. um, right. You need to have it, it's very, a uh, little bit, you know, picky. So it needs to be ice cold out of the fridge That's when you right. come to, right. you know, cook with and it. And I'm so actually going to kind of roll it out to about 10 inches. Okay. You know, just a little bit lengthwise. Okay, there. with a teeny bit of flour, it looks right. like Right, a little bit of flour. I'm going to okay. get my knife over here. Okay. And then, Amy, if you want to start working on the rest of the I'd be sauce, happy to. too, uh, assuming that that's been cooking for about eight minutes or so, you could take that out and okay. put that into a, a separate bowl. Okay, so. Okay. Like that. There you go. And then you're going to uh, start making uh, the sauce. Okay. All right. In the same pan, which same I like that. Pan. Okay. So you're going to add two more tablespoons of butter. Right okay. There. Yep. Just get that last the squash and the onions out. Okay. So more butter. Yeah. Two more tablespoons of butter. Uh -huh. Let that melt. Okay. And then you'll add two tablespoons of flour. Okay. So we're going to have a, a nice roux here. That's right. Uh huh. And what I'm doing here is I'm starting to slice um, this puff pastry into. Uh, eight strips. Okay. Okay. That we're going to weave in a few minutes here. There we go. So my butter and my flours, nice and combined. Cook right. it for about a minute or two. Uh, yeah, about a minute or so, so that it starts uh, that flour starts to cook a little. Okay. And then you're going to add uh, two cups of chicken uh, stock. Okay. And a half a cup of um, whipping cream. Okay. To it. So right. heavy cream. Heavy cream. And uh, a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. And then you want to cook that till it gets uh, nice and thick. Okay. I, I found it takes a maybe about eight, ten minutes okay. till it starts to thicken a little okay. bit. So I do have some ready right there. Okay. And you do want to do that so it's not soupy when you um, prepare your chicken pot So pie. take the time and make sure that that's yeah. nice, and, nice thick. and thick. You can okay. If it coats the back of the spoon, you know it's nice and thick. Okay. okay. So, so it does reduce a little. Here's our sauce. That's so it. all done. All right. You can see how it's thickened a little bit. Looks right. delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then what you want to do is we're going to, um, can actually take it off the heat. Okay. And add all the uh, ingredients back in there. So back goes our butternut squash and our mm -hmm. sauteed onion. That's right. right. Then we have a uh, Two cups of chicken. Uh, actually, you can use any kind of rotisserie chicken, cooked chicken. Okay. Chicken breast is probably best in there. Okay, so right. just finely diced or yeah. shredded mm -hmm. chicken breast. And then two cups of shredded kale. Okay. That I've already shredded there. Yeah, that's really the it food these days. Yes, it is. It's very trendy, and that's mm -hmm. kind of, you know, even trendy foods like that really pair well with, with cheese, and uh, this Wisconsin Havarti cheese sure. is just delicious in there. And kale's going to, you know, it seems like this is a whole bunch, but it's like spinach. It's oh, just yeah. Once you it cook with down. it, it really cooks down. And then add the cheese right to that. Right so to we don't it. need okay. to cook it down okay. now because it's going to happen in the oven. So okay. the two cups of the Wisconsin Havarti cheese that okay. I... Uh, shredded already. Okay. So you mix that all together, and I have a nine-inch pie pan. Okay. That I've already buttered, 
and you just pour it right in there okay. and then we're going to weave the top so it makes it pretty easy just want to mix it up just a little bit more yeah get it all thoroughly blended and the cheese will start melting of course because uh, you know it is warm in there oh, already it really so looks good go. so it has lots of great flavors mm -hmm. it really does and the taste color good. is just Isn't that pretty yeah just something that I think it would be really nice for like a ladies luncheon or even like I say this is a almost a company worthy pot pie. right exactly with a nice salad mm -hmm. definitely for uh, those cold nights too right it's really good okay now before we start putting the um, crust on mm -hmm. I'm gonna put a little bit of egg wash around the side so the crust will stick and I'll show you what we're gonna do so is that so just beaten egg beaten egg up? with a little water a little water, a little water. Okay. okay so we're gonna lay one strip it's okay if it hangs over because we're gonna cut that off later okay so you can do a couple sure. there so sure. we have four strips going across so instead of a full-on crust this is mm -hmm. gonna be kind of a woven basket weave sure here we go. And then I'll let you take one. We're going to, uh, no, we're going to actually start weaving okay, now. Okay. Okay. So just up and over like up you and would. Over. Yep, yep. Yep. Just like that. And we'll brush it with some more egg wash afterwards. And it goes into the oven. Your oven should be heated at about uh, 400 degrees. And it takes about uh, 25 minutes or so. And hang it over a little bit. I'll okay. tell you why. I'm going to get the scissors okay. back here. You bet. Well, this is kind of fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> so once it's woven, then you could just uh, cut it off. And I, I always am looking through things that I could make ahead a little bit. It mm -hmm. seems to me the filling could be made ahead, and then the, the puff pastry, you could just put that on at the last. Absolutely. Or bake it. That's exactly what I did okay. <laughs> for today. So it's over like that. Oven temperature about what temperature? 400 degrees. Okay. And for about... Um, 25, 30 minutes till it's bubbly and brown. Okay, and that's okay, we, that we have it a little bit higher because the puff pastry needs to puff up, and that's why we bake that at a little right. bit higher than mm -hmm. normal. And then that will cook the kale down and uh, finish off the mm -hmm. butternut squash. Mm. And again, we want to cut off the ends here. Okay. And brush it with a little egg wash on top. Okay. So we'll do this. And the egg wash is going to help it to brown nicely, make it nice and golden brown. There you go. Mm -hmm. These ends here. This method with this <laughs> crust, you could really yeah. do with any type it's of pot pie. It's pretty too. It looks be, real. Yeah, what do you see how it looks? Rustic it's looking. Mm -hmm. and there you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in the oven, yep. 400 degrees. Yep. And you'll just, we've got a couple little ends oh, to trim. Oh, there. Uh-huh. Let me go back and get this pot pie. Oh, goodness. And, and if the, you notice the top starts getting a little bit brown, we just covered it with a little sheet of mm -hmm. foil just to... And once you take it out, I would let it set maybe five minutes or so to kind of just set a little bit before you start digging. And okay. it's the kind that doesn't have a crust on the bottom, remember. So you just kind of dig in. How gorgeous <laughs> is that, Karen? Wow. Talk about looking like a rock star. Oh, takes a little time, but boy, is it worth it. Like you say, a nice big salad. And wow, that's going to be a hit. All right, now we need a great dessert. <laughs> Karen's going to stick around. We're making homemade apple fritters with a caramel sauce. And we're taking another road trip to a fantastic restaurant worth the drive. If you like a good fish sandwich, you got to go to this place. Stay with us. We'll be back.